Welcome to Karakin. Today, let me guide you on an in-depth understanding of this four square kilometer humble island. Before stepping into Karakin, you may have already heard about the intimidating demolition zone. In demolition zone, buildings will be destroyed into smithereens. But rest assured that today's tour will be a safe one. Karakin might be a small island, but the textile industry of the island works as a crucial financial support for the entire island. Our first attraction is Al Haik. Al Haik is a medium scale town, and people who lived here refined pigments for a living. Then those pigments will be sent to Hadika Nemo for dyeing. Skyscrapers are scarce in Al Haik. Compared to other urban areas, there are fewer visitors here, which makes looting easier. It's a perfect choice for a team of four in search of adequate equipment supplies. We'll be walking by the sea, and our next attraction will be Hadika Nemo which serves as the port of importing raw materials of Karakin. Imported textiles are dyed in vats filled with multiple colors and distributed to the factories. If you want to choose this place as your landing spot, then it's recommended that one to two players in your team land in the containers area, as they can easily find combat supplies here and head to the city to support their teammates. In the middle of our journey to Al Habar, we'll be passing by an enclosed warehouse you will need to use Sticky Bomb to blast the walls that look less solid to get in. There's always something nice in here. But be careful, as one might not want to hide behind those walls during combat, because those unmaintained walls can be easily penetrated with just a touch, making you susceptible to attacks from enemies and exposing you to dangers. The next stop is Al Habar, which is the largest urban area in Karakin. There are many residents, hence the numerous high-rising residences. No doubt this place will be a popular spot in the future. Our next attraction is the port city of Bar Shahir, which stores and exports goods of Karakin. This is the perfect spot to search for weapons, making it my personal favorite. Next up is the city of the West, Bashara. It was a city congested with residents, with tall buildings providing convenience and observing the surrounding movements. Just make sure not to lose your directions here. Our final destination is the cargo ship, located at the southwest corner of the map. This ship has been idle here for like forever and has already been abandoned, yet there are still goods that remained here. However, due to the gigantic size of the cargo ship and the containers, this place no doubt becomes a place to rumble. Don't you feel the excitement already just thinking of it? Besides these urban areas, Karkin also houses many such little buildings. Rumor has it that there's another passage beneath these buildings, as well as a huge space beneath Karkin. Well, it's up to you, believe them or not. All right, your car and tour is now closing its curtains. Looking forward to seeing you next time.